Welcome to EduRev. Hello, welcome to EduRev. My name is Shivli Shaha. I did my bachelor's in economics from Jadavpur University, Kolkata, and currently I am pursuing master's in economics from JNU, Delhi. In this course, we're going to talk about the organization of economic activities. Earlier, we talked about the three basic questions that an economic face, that is, what kinds of goods and services to produce in the economy, how to produce them, and how to allocate the resources. Here, we are going to study how those problems can be resolved and gets resolved in various institutional structure. Firstly, we will talk about the market and non-market activities, and then we will talk about the market economy and what are the features, and then we move to central planned economy and what are the features relating to it. This is taken from the NCRT class 12 book. Now, what are market and what are non-market activities? Any activity that leads to a transaction in terms of money will be termed as a market activity. For example, a shopkeeper selling a good in the market and earning profit, that is a market activity. The services provided by doctors, engineers, that is a market activity. So market activity involves those activities which are performed basically for the purpose of the sale in the market and earn profit from it. Whereas non-market activities are those activities primarily undertaken for the purpose of self-consumption. So a farmer cultivating in a land and then producing and not selling that good in the market to earn money. So those kinds of uh, services those kinds of work will not be termed as a market activity. Those are non-market activities. Those activities are done for self-consumption only and for self-satisfaction and nothing else. No monetary transaction takes place in a non-market activities. Now, we'll talk about market economy and what are the features of a market economy. So market economy is an economic system in which the decisions regarding investment, production, and distribution are guided by the price signals created by the forces of demand and supply. So in a very simple way, market economy mein kya hote? Demand and supply, they have a free role to play. The consumers and the producers interact with each other according to the interaction prices gets determined and through the forces of prices and through the price signals, what kinds of goods and services to produce, how to produce, and how to allocate all the answers gets resolved. Now we'll study the major characteristics. The major characteristic of a market economy is the existence of factor markets that play a dominant role in the allocation of all factors of production. What are the factors of production? Land, labor, capital, entrepreneur. So all the factors of production have a free role to play they interact among each other and the profits, the rents, the wages that are earned by them are gets decided in the market economy itself. Market economy has freedom of choice and free enterprise. Anybody can enter and anybody can exit. One of the most important characteristics of a market economy, also called the free enterprise economy, is the role of limited government. Yes, the central planner or the government doesn't play much role in the market economy. They let the market play on its own, right? Most economic decisions are made by buyers and sellers and not the market. So buyers and sellers come together in a market, not a physical market. It hasn't has to be a physical market or geographical market. It has become an um, international market, digital markets. So basically there should be an interaction between the buyers and sellers and there should be a deal that should be formed and accordingly prices will get uh, determined and all the economic decisions will will have an answer. Individuals are encouraged to take business risks to further their own economic interests which benefit the economy as a whole. So individuals ko bolte ki risk low in market economy because it will benefit you. Nobody will judge you, nobody will stop you. So whatever you do, how much you want, you will get paid, right? Now a market economy functions under the laws of supply and demand. 
Now, what is this law of supply? That is, the prices of a commodity rising in the economy gives the signal to the producers, okay, prices are rising, then I can produce more and I can sell more because there is demand in the economy. So, the law of demand and law of supply, they actually help the economy to run. And what is the law of demand? That is, if the prices are falling, then demand for that good will rise. The consumers ko zada paisa na manzu nahi hai, wo chahega ki prices kam ho. Jitna kam ho, utna demand zada hoga. Lekin provided everything else, everything, the prices of other goods, the prices of the substitute goods or complementary goods, all should remain constant. So everything remain constant. If the price of goods falls, demand should rise for the consumer. It is characterized by private ownership, self-interest, optimized buying and selling platforms, competition and limited government intervention. So private ownership zada hote kyunki private people anybody can come into the market and they can uh, they can start their business and earn income from it. So self-interest zada hote to there is a motive of becoming the best. That is actually a good thing for market economy. Market economy, the consumers and the producers know that no one will take away their money because central government or central planner doesn't in, doesn't intervene much, right? So they have a profit motive always to always act in the market economy. Competition drives the market economy as it optimizes efficiency and innovation. Yes, they know the fittest will survive. Anybody can come, so they will try to be the best they are good at. Market economies marginalize those that are unable to compete, contributing to income inequality. This is the drawback of market economy because kuch log aise hai jo they cannot interact that much in the economy. So agar prices itna bar gaya, lekin there are poor people who cannot earn much. So for them that goes against it. So market economy is good. It's good for the firm. It increases efficiency, it increases innovation. But there is a downside also. That is, it is discriminatory to the poor. Now, what is a centrally planned economy? Centrally planned economy mein kya hota ki government or central planner plays a role. Whenever the government sees no, there is inefficient allocation of income, inefficient allocation of resources, or a strategic sector should be the production of a strategic sector should be increased. Central planner has a role to play. Central planner will come into the market and will decide what kinds of goods and services to produce, how to produce them, what are the resources to be employed, and how to allocate all the resources among the people. So a non-market economy, also known as centrally planned economy and a common economy, is an economic system in which a central authority, such as the government, makes economic decisions regarding the manufacturing and the distribution of products. Vahi, jo, jo jitna decision hoga, jiska pe decision hoga, sub will be com controlled by the central government. Centrally planned economies are different from market economies in which such decisions are traditionally made by businesses and consumers. Because market economy mein saare cheeze jo decision hota hai, jo kitna kharitna hai, kitna bechna hai, sub decisions are taken by producers itself. But central planner means central planner decides what goods and services to produce and by whom to produce and for how to produce, right? In a centrally planned economy, major economic decisions are made by a central plan authority, right? Centrally planned economies stand in contrast to market economy. It has been criticized by many economists as suffering from various economic problems related to poor incentives, informational constraints and inefficiencies. For example, uh, if you say Cuba is a centrally planned economy, then Russia uh, was a centrally planned economy. So this they have been criticized by the economists because centrally planned economy mein kya hote hai? firms don't get incentive to innovate more. So as a result, that leads to deterioration in the long run. So this is actually a drawback of a centrally planned economy, and there is no consumer or producer sovereignty. No consumer ka koi right nahi hota hai, producer ka koi right nahi hota hai, jo karna hai, jo decide karna hai, sab central panel karne wale hai. All the resources are owned and managed by the government. The market forces are not allowed to set the price of the goods and services. The central panel, of, central panel will decide which goods will have what kind of price, 
there's a price limit to all goods and services. Profit is not the main motive. Instead, the government aims to provide goods and services to everybody. This is the good side. This actually leads to equity among people because government will allocate the resources and allocate the goods and services to all members of the society. Right. And government decides what to produce, how much to produce and for whom to produce. So all the questions get decided by the government itself. But in reality, in most of the economies that we see, both are actually mixed economics. Both the market and the central planner works together. In most of the economies in current, uh, currently are running mixed economies. Uh, like USA, USA the central planner plays a very minor role, mostly market economies plays a role and India is a mixed economy where both market and uh, uh, central government plays equal role. Now if you have understood this, let's move on to some problems. The goal of a pure market economy is to meet the desire of what? Consumers, companies, workers or the government? What do you think? It's easy. The goal of a pure market economy is to meet the desires of consumers. What is the consumers like? And accordingly, the demand is set and accordingly, the supplies, the supply, supply good in the market. So the consumers desire gets priority in a pure market economy. Second, in market economy, all the decisions regarding how much and what kinds of goods should be produced is determined by what? Central authority? coordination of economic activities through price signals or is it monopoly firms or is it none of the above? All the decisions regarding how much and what kinds of goods should be produced is determined by answer is B. Coordination of economic activities through price signals. Price decides what kinds of goods and services to produce and how to produce them and by whom to produce them. Central authority plays a role in a planned economy, right? And the last question, if the buyer demand more of one good, the price of that good should what? Should remain the same or is it increases or is it decreases or you can't say anything? The answer is the price increases because the firms know that there is a demand in the economy. So if I increase my price, people will buy because people need that good. So the prices gets increased in that economy. So if you have understood this, you can test your conceptual learning through tests prepared by our export educators through EduRef Infinity. We have around 6,000 plus questions across subjects for you to practice and you should practice and increase your scores through nationwide rankings with EduRef Infinity. Thank you for watching this session.